Duke Fuqua and UVA Darden are both popular top 15 MBA programs in the southern U.S. that are known for robust culture and true camaraderie among their students and even alumni. How do Fuqua and Darden compare? We get this question from many applicants, so we're going to look at some of the commonalities and differences between these two top MBA programs. First, let's see what these programs have in common. Well, for one, class size. Both Fuqua and Darden are on the smaller size, with Fuqua's latest class being 399 and Darden's 348. You can even find smaller programs like Cornell or Berkeley, but most MBA programs tend to be larger than Fuqua and Darden. Wharton, for example, is more than double. Harvard is about a thousand students, even more than double. At these smaller programs, you will likely interact with most of your peers and professors in a closely knit community, but you may sacrifice some of the benefits of a more extensive and diverse network of immediate classmates or your post-MBA network of alumni around the world. Again, on a relative basis, you're talking about maybe the lower tens of thousands versus maybe even 100,000 alumni at times. Okay, let's talk about another aspect, which is prestige. Fuqua and Darden consistently fall in a similar range in the rankings. We see this consistency in key markers of selectivity, with the school's average GMAT scores being right around 720 and average GRE scores being around 320, and of course, average GPAs being around 3.5. Fuqua tends to surge a little higher in the Business Week rankings at times, but rankings come and go. For what it's worth, as of our recording of this video, Darden is 9 and Fuqua is 13, but that will change. Another factor to consider is class composition. Within both classes at Fuqua and Darden, the most common pre-MBA industry is financial services. The average years of work experience are similar, around six years, with Fuqua's latest class averaging age 29 and Darden's age 28. Both schools have sizable international representation, with Fuqua at 39 and Darden at 43%. However, it's worth noting that Fuqua's international students do represent more countries, 55 versus 48 countries represented. Fuqua also has significantly more women at 48% versus 37% and slightly more underrepresented minorities at 25% versus 20%. So while mostly similar, you may find greater diversity or broader array of experiences and perspectives in Fuqua's class. Okay, let's also talk about admissions rounds. Both schools offer an early action admissions round. So if you decided that one of these programs is your top choice, you can demonstrate your interest and show you're ready to commit by applying before the early action deadline, typically the very first week of September. With these similarities, you can see why many applicants consider both of these programs. Let's now look at some of the differences between Fuqua and Darden. Perhaps the biggest difference lies in academics. In the academic area, Darden has a much more structured curriculum and general business focus with all first-year students taking the same 10 required courses without exception. Darden also uses the case method almost exclusively. The case method requires students to read a story, call the case, about a business dilemma, then analyze the case in a learning team setting, and then follow it up with an engaging professor-led discussion during class. The case method is highly analytical and participatory. You get graded on how you speak in class. If you're not familiar with this teaching method, watch our video on what is the case method. On the other hand, Fuqua's curriculum is more flexible. Students take four weeks of mandatory courses right after orientation, then take a mix of core courses and electives, with electives starting in the spring of first year. Some core courses can even be waived. The teaching methods employed at Fuqua include case studies, but they also include lectures and team projects. Professors may even incorporate multiple methods into one course. In core classes, many assignments are team-based, but not all. Darden is seen as the more academically intense program. Some find this daunting and prefer a more balanced approach, like Fuqua's, while others find the intensity reassuring, knowing they'll be rigorously prepared for their careers ahead. Speaking of careers, another area of difference is the recruitment focus and employment outcomes. As mentioned earlier, Darden has a more general business or general management focus with less emphasis on industry specializations. So it should be unsurprising that over 40% of the class goes into consulting post-MBA. Fuqua is also known as a top consulting feeder school with 36% of its class going into consulting. But at both schools, you'll find 
varied placement, including strong placement in tech, 23% at Fuqua, and 20% at Darden, and financial services, 16% at Fuqua, 20% at Darden, where we see some difference is for students interested in working in healthcare. 11% of Fuqua's graduates go into healthcare, driven by its location, known for science and research, and its highly regarded health sector management program. It's also worth comparing where students go geographically after graduating. The Northeast, primarily New York City and Boston, is where most graduates from both schools accept full-time offers. However, Fuqua graduates are more likely to go to the West Coast, primarily Seattle or San Francisco, or stay in the Southeast, primarily Atlanta and Charlotte. In contrast, Darden graduates are more likely to accept offers in the Mid-Atlantic region, primarily DC and Philadelphia. So what's the takeaway here? If you're interested in being on the West Coast or in the Southeast, or if you're interested in healthcare, take a good look at Fuqua. And if you're interested in consulting or finance, especially on the East Coast, your opportunities should be pretty similar at these schools. That brings us to a final difference. The location, neither Fuqua nor Darden is in a major city. They share the benefits of a more reasonable cost of living and fewer distractions from coursework and class bonding. At both programs, which are in the Southern United States, most students are moving there from elsewhere in the country or the world, exploring that region together for the first time. We consider both to be college towns as the presence of UVA and Duke is widely felt throughout the Charlottesville and Durham communities respectively. But Charlottesville is a much smaller city with a population of only 45,000 compared to 285,000 in Durham and over 2 million in the combined area of Durham, including nearby Raleigh and Chapel Hill and other surrounding areas, which together combine the Research Triangle area. The area has a good balance of cultural offerings, outdoor activities, and both college and professional sports. At Fuqua, you'll also be close to other universities, with UNC and NC State nearby, and more companies. IBM, Cisco, Biogen, which all hire Fuqua students. At Darden, however, you'll be a little more secluded, being two hours away from a major airport in DC. But that comes with the benefits of a picturesque campus nestled in the Blue Ridge Mountains, with plenty of opportunities for outdoor activities and historical sites. What's the bottom line on location? Neither is in a major metropolitan area like New York City or Chicago. You'll likely need your own car at both schools, but you also shouldn't consider the two locations the same. If you want to leave city life behind and immerse yourself in the business school experience, then Darden may be perfect. Fuqua may strike a better balance if you're seeking a little bit of everything. We hope that this rundown of Fuqua versus Darden is giving you better insight into where these programs differ, but more importantly, how they overlap. They're very similar. For even more in-depth information, I encourage you to download and read our insider's guide to Fuqua and Darden. Best of luck with your application to one or both of these programs.